Okay, so I've got plenty of questions on how to install CoReader on an Android-based e-reader. I thought it was so easy to do because it uses Android and APK files, normal apps on Android, but apparently some users have problems with it. So in this video, I will show you how it easy it is to install CoReader on Android-based ebook readers. Here on my table I have two Android-based ebook readers. This is the Unix Books Palma. It's on uh, black and white uh, Carta 1200 ebook reader. And here we have a BigMe B751C color ebook reader running Kaleido 3 display on it. So, these two devices run Android, both of them. So, if we start up this big display, it's easy to show what to do on that. Uh, let's go back to the home screen here. So, here we have a colored home screen, Kaleido 3. So, here we have a lot of apps I use, but uh, to install CoReader, on an Android based ebook reader, you only need your web browser really. The web browser and a file manager app. And the file manager app and a web browser is installed by default on your device. I have installed from Google Play Store uh, Brave, as you see there, as a web browser. And down here I have my file manager installed on the B751C from default. That is the ones I will use in this video. So I start Brave. You can start any web browser you like instead. Here at the top you have search or add web address. Here you just click type GitHub. It's where you will download the file from and co -re there. Now hit search and I use uh, DuckDuckGo as a search engine so it will differ from your search result probably but here you see CoReader and here you see GitHub CoReader. That is the website you should go to so click on that now it opens up the GitHub page for CoReader and here you need to scroll down uh, and to read a lot about it and so on. And here you have a download link, so click on that. Wait for the web browser to load the page like this. Here we have, quite beautiful on a colored ebook reader actually, running Kaleido 3 display on it. So that's quite neat actually. Here is the latest release of CoReader called Sourdough, Sudeg in Swedish. <laughs> so here we can scroll down. Here you can see everything that's new in this version. And down here, Assets. You have the different versions of CoReader to install. At the top is for different uh, ebook readers but here you see android versions of them as you see there android versions and normally all the latest uh, uh, e-readers on the market uses arm 64 so that you should click on is the co-reader android arm 64 to download it co-reader android arm 64 click on that now it should start download. As you saw there, uh, it downloaded in the background in Brave Browser. So I click on it once again, then it says, will you download the same file again? But I don't want that because I didn't see it downloaded the first file. So it was a mistake from me. So uh, cancel. So I have now downloaded the file the BigMe is not a great device to see the 
progress of downloading files you can see that here but if you go here for example you can probably see downloads uh, here you see some images I have downloaded and at the top you see the file I just downloaded so that file is in your download folder on your device now so now we can go back to home screen we left brave there and now you can go to your file manager on your device to see all your files so click on that here we have different ways of going into this but i usually go here up to see all my folders and here you have a folder called download click on that here you should now see your co-reader file I have two because I have already downloaded it and installed it once on this. So now we just want to see a list of files so we can see the difference of them. Here you see the difference of them. Here is our older and here is the latest version. As you see there. So APK files is apps on Android. So to install CoReader now, it's so easy. You had, let's summarize this. You have been on the GitHub page to download the right file for your device. The file gets downloaded directly to your ebook reader like this. Then you left your web browser and go into your file manager and you go into your download folder. In that folder, you see all the uh, files you have downloaded on that device and the latest co-reader file I have downloaded is that one so it's so easy to install this co-reader app now just click on that file and it says do you want to install this app but this time it says that I have already installed CoReader, so do you really want to install it again? And I will click cancel now, but you should of course click OK, OK, OK until your CoReader app is installed. I will not show the latest step because it's so easy. You just click on the file and click OK to install it, blah, 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 all the way around. After that, you have co-reader uh, installed as you see here it will be an app icon on your home screen on your device uh, it will look like this co-reader so now you have installed co-reader app on your device now you can open it and as i said i have already installed it so i have done a lot of different settings already so let's go to the file the home page of co-reader the home the start folder is if you will call it like that so this is how co-reader looks now and from that you have to do all your settings as normally in co-reader a lot of cool settings to do if you have watched my own uh, other videos you have seen what you can do with co-reader i have a lot of videos about co-reader so go check them out on my channel so now you can do a lot of settings at the top here as you see here a lot to do as you see you can customize almost everything on in co-reader as you see here you can do a lot so this is how my co-reader looks like. I love to read like this. It's so easy to read without reading glasses, for example. I've done settings to be able to read as good as possible without reading glasses. So that is how easy it is to install co-reader. It's very easy. And uh, uh, you do exactly the same on a Unix Books Palma or other uh, Android based ebook readers like this. You see, I have installed CoReader, I have it down there. The same here, you go to Brave like this, and I have already surfed, browsed to that web page we was at. You see the assets here, 
you download the right file for your device as you see here this is a black and white display instead of a color as you see so if we go to the top again you see this beautiful sourdough version in black and white instead of color as you saw on the big me the same page as before so you scroll down to the bottom to see the different files for that I scroll too much here okay let's go back again sorry for that you just scroll down to the latest versions files the assets uh, here are all the changes and here we see all the different files to download soon here here you download the right file again as you saw before arm 64 file that one click on that to download it here you get the file can be dangerous to download do you want to continue yes download anyway so now it downloads to my device uh, and when it's finished you you go out from your web uh, browser and you go into your file manager app i have it called storage on uh, unix books palma so i go into that and the same here i go often up here to see all my folders and here we go to uh, download oh there it was download folder like this and here we should see the co-reader file I have one old and one new as you see there just click on the new one to install it and here it says for security reason your device has been uh, provided to install a known application on the source do you want to continue anyway and then just continue with the install and click ok or blah 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 so that is how easy it is to install co-reader and it's not dangerous to install co-reader it's a open source software you can see all the code on the, the github page and so on so it's not dangerous so after installing it from your downloaded file you will have it on your home page i have it in my dock here so i can open co-reader here and just see all my books and so on as you see here same here same settings as on uh, the big me i have done exactly the same settings but this settings on this device is a bit uh, different when it comes to formatting the text because this has a narrow display so i want to format the text a bit different as you see here so it has uh, as you see here you see it's no margins and so on so i have formatted the text a bit different on this device but otherwise it's the same so that is how easy it is to install co-reader on android devices that is easy to do so you don't have to have more uh, instructions actually than i have gave you now no more distract uh, instructions you don't need any more knowledge just go to the right web page download the right file for your device and then go to your file manager click on the file to start the installation follow the instructions on display and after install installation you just start the app and do all the settings in the app very very easy okay bye